take a look at the inside of the cap here to Royce so you can see these amazing features. Now, at first glance, it looks like a hand-tied cap, but it's not. That's that, <clears throat> excuse me, that is that soft netting that is over the wefts. So your wefts are not going to show. So it's almost like a hand-tied cap, but it's not. It's just that this is covering those wefts. So you have a nice felt-lined ear tab with bendable stay, your felt-lined extended nape with Velcro closures, and this full mono, single mono top allows you to part it anywhere in this area. Now they are saying, now I don't know yet because I haven't, I haven't had it on yet, but they are saying that this lace front is trimmed close to the hairline to give you that more realistic look. So let's turn her back over and take a look at this rooting. So this rose gold rooted is a blonde base with reddish highlights. <clears throat> and right off of the bat, you can see, well, you may not be able to see, but I, looking at it from right here, I can tell there's not a whole lot of shine to this, like your typical synthetics. And it just feels more like real hair. Um, I'm going to try and describe this to you the best that I can. It's it's almost like a dry texture. It's not real soft. The fibers are not real soft. It's It, it feels, like I said, kind of like real hair, like a dryish kind of texture. But you can see that you can still run your hands through that. The, the density on it is amazing for this length. It is a very, very light density as far as these fibers and overall. I mean, that's a medium density in a pony. So, we'll break this zigzag parting up and get it put on. Hey guys, welcome back to I Dream of Wigs and thank you so much for stopping in with me again today for this review of Amores Royce in this beautiful color, Rose Gold Rooted. <sighs> so I'm Missy with TL Wigs and I actually want to thank Tracy from TL Wigs for sending this beautiful wig to me so that I could do this review for you. I was not expecting this one. It was a surprise, and I got to say that this is a very pleasant surprise. I am already in love with this style. It is amazing. Okay, so there's a lot of things that I want to go over with you on this cap and some of these amazing Features. Now, at the beginning, I already gave you a little bit of, you know, tidbits on the cap whenever I showed it. But this is from Amore's XO Plus collection. Monofilament, single monofilament top, lace front, and I want to read what I found about this XO Plus cap, okay? Because it wasn't one the website or anywhere, I had to look it up to actually find this. So it says that the XO Plus has top hair ventilation with extended lace and that soft breathable net to cover the knotting. Adjustable bands for custom fit, I showed you that, that's the Velcro closures. Non-slip silicone on the nape and ear tabs for a secure fit. Now this one did not have that, so that must be in some of the others that are in the XO Plus. Um, wefts are sewn into this light, breathable material that contours to the head. Okay, so let's talk about that and how this feels. 
This is amazing. The fit is amazing and it is so comfortable. Now I'm a 22 and a half inch circumference around and I am kind of on the larger head, head size and this is just, it's amazing. I can feel it. I can feel it very secure hugging to my head and it doesn't feel too tight. I haven't done anything to the adjusters to let them out, anything. Oh my goodness, I have a fly in here. How annoying. Uh, my windows are open to let some fresh air in. Anyway, okay. So another thing I want to talk to you about are these fibers. These fibers feel, I want to try and explain this the best that I can so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So these fibers feel a little bit dry. Um, they're not at all what you are probably used to feeling on your regular synthetics. These have this dry texture feel and when you run your hands through it, it kinda, well, it, it doesn't kinda, it, feels like real hair. So I am pleasantly surprised with that and I love that. I did notice no shine out of the box on this one. So I'm assuming that these textured fibers have something to do with what gives this style some volume because with that netting over those wefts, you don't feel any permities except for down here at the nape. That's the only place that I have been able at all to find any permities. So I think that this is just made to look very, very realistic and it does. They nailed this one. So let me do a spin all the way around. So this is 22 inches long in length. So you can see it goes down to the middle of your back. It is just gorgeous, guys. Now this lace front, I wanna show you this too. It almost appears, whenever I took it out of the box, I noticed it, it, it almost has like some little baby hairs that are here in the front. I mean, I see that this is widow peak friendly. That's another thing. With this lace front, it says that they have taken that and cut that as close to that hairline as possible to give you that more realistic look. And I think, I think they have nailed it. So it's a temple to temple lace front. Mine runs from here to here. And like I said, the, the fit on it is just amazing. So with that full mono top, you can part that. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that looks great. So you can part it however you want. Now, it came factory. Ooh, I like that. It came factory with that left side, and that's usually how I leave it. But once I get in here and I start playing around with it, like just now, and that kind of fell to the side swept bang that this is, I, I fall in love all over again. I think, oh my gosh, I should just leave it like this. But you can part it however you want. And it seems like with me parting it on the right, it seems like I'm getting a whole lot more volume. Isn't that strange? So if you want that, you can do that. Now you might have to use, you know, a little bit of water or the heat from your hands or even some product to get it to stay. But I think it's just falling perfectly and looking like real hair. Okay, let's try the middle. Looks good there too. So the middle would be, uh, you know, kind of like some curtain bangs 
Oh yeah. If you're a metal parter and like those curtain bangs, just kind of sweep those over and you know, kind of pluck them up a little bit. Oh, that's a good look too. I need to get more, you know, middle parting. I don't know why I can't, but oh my gosh, I am loving this one, Tracy. Oh, even the length. Okay, so let's go over the specs on this. Um, this front fringe is four and a half to six and a half inches long. The crown is 10. Uh, the nape underneath is a long 16 inches and I already told you that overall this comes in at 22 inches and it weighs 4.8 ounces. It feels much much lighter than that. This is a low density as I said at the beginning this is a very low density wig and I think that you're not going to get hot in it and if you want to wear this in the summer, this is going to be an easy one to, you know, just pull back into a pony or even put it up off of your neck in a jaw clip. However you want to do it, it's going to look good. She does some great ear tucks, I imagine. Oh, yeah so much styling that you can do on this one. Oh goodness wow i love the little waves to it this is truly an out of the box ready to wear style so i hope you enjoyed this review i hope this gave you some insight on you know this style because i don't really see a whole lot of it and now i'm wondering why not this is amazing um, I'm going to go ahead and take it off again, and I'm going to look for those. No, this one does not have those silicone strips on the ear tabs or the nape like it was saying that this collection does. So here, I, when it's off, I can kind of see those little baby hairs more. But yeah, this is a beauty, guys. Absolute beauty. All right, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, I try to put out new content every week. And you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. Yes, TikTok. Um, under the same name, I Dream of Wigs. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great weekend.